All clear, carrots. No wire taps under the desk, then? Bombs. No bombs. The wolves were a tactical unit. Any good tactical unit is trained in explosives. Great. Something else to worry about. You let me worry about things like that. So... I have a lot of information to go over now. I realize that most of what I have here will be inadmissible as evidence if it is helpful at all. Because it was obtained illegally? Yes. And it goes without saying that I wouldn't be able to give my source for verification. But if I can use some of the information here to verify what I already know, then I'll be able to build a stronger case of doubt without ever showing the actual evidence. Or it could lead me somewhere to gather more evidence. Then why are you hesitating? I'm... Not sure. Flash said that you would know how to access the files here and in the email he sent? Hmm. Did he? He didn't set you up on your own account? Was he supposed to? I've never known him to create a joint account. One minute? Don't think I'm a computer genius or anything. I've just done this a few times already. And the mystery deepens. With all the security, shouldn't the password change? Rather than using the same one every time? It changes. How it changes and how I know of it change is my little secret. We still haven't talked about how I am supposed to pay you. No, we haven't. Where did he get this? Who took this? Questions like that will make this take forever. If I expected him to send you things you had already seen, I wouldn't have taken you to see him in the first place. We've already established that a lot of this is probably illegal. Yeah. Did you see that? It looks like someone picked up the knife. Which could mean the assumption in the police report that Otterton held the knife the entire time was false. I have to review the existing images in the case files, see if I can find an angle that shows, even faintly. That was quick. So we're done here? It doesn't prove anything either way, but anything that goes against what was force-fed through the trial is progress, so the images can wait. I want to see what's on this flash drive. Not something most mammals would want to poke around in, I suppose. Hmm. I've been wondering what this was. I'm not sure why I keep doing these personal journals, but sometimes they get help to clear my mind, I guess. It has it has been a month since my last entry and a lot has happened. Leodore continues to be all the distraction I need, he remains ever the talkative one until given other things to do with his mouth. But I'm not sure what I would do without him. I knew I smelled cheap. What is on my mind today? Well, that's easy. One Judith Laverne Tops from Bunny Barrel. Anyone in law has heard her. Heard of her. The first bunny to willingly and successfully defend a fox outside Zootopia in a murder trial since the city became a bunny free zone. Here to oversee the appeal of Emmett Otterton. I'll admit that at first I consider her a token, some attempt to show that there are still favorable relations between the mammals of Zootopia and the bunnies of the Commonwealth. 
That was until she started to speak. I don't know what I expected then, or honestly what I expect now, if she was meant to be a token. She's not playing the part assigned her. I don't recognize that fox who stood beside her while she presented her case for an appeal. But I do know that she wasn't being used as a mouthpiece. Her words were compelling, even accusing towards the state of law in the city. Even without Leodore's request that I accept the appeal, I don't believe I had any other choice after hearing her, her point out every flaw in the justice system so plainly. And if nothing else, I do believe that justice and the law must win in the end. Others obviously don't agree with me, as I learned only moments ago that there was an attempt to kill Hobbs. Which leads me to further questions, ones I won't voice here. I would wish her luck if that was were proper, but I still have my oath to remain impartial. If she can prove her case, then it will be proven and my ruling will be appropriate if she can't. Well, at least here I can wish her good luck. You all right? She'll listen. Now I just need to find enough to make what I say mean something. Then we keep looking until we find what you need. Right. Keep looking until we... Well, we can confirm that they were there like they said. And who might that be? This is it! There might be more in here, but this might be what I really need. This is why the ZPD was so quick to respond. Because the unit was just down the street, but the call reporting disturbance came in at 9.45pm, saying there was angry shouting. If that is Otterton, there is no way he could have murdered his wife cleaned himself up afterward, and gone to the gas station in less than a minute. It would take him longer than that to make the drive to his house, and even if he did manage to time it somehow, why would he return to the scene of the crime? You need the receipt. <laughs> Look at you. A bodyguard and an investigator. You've been paying attention. Looking to get into law school- And spend my time in a tiny office all day? How dare you? Can't go out looking for it now. It's either in the impound or it's been auctioned off, and that information will be available until morning. Failing that, or including that, I need to find a stoat that was running the register. Thank you, Nick. It wasn't much. There's still a lot to go over. Yeah. But don't think I've forgotten the other receipt I saw. We need to talk about some things. And soon, Mr. Graffine lined shirt. Hmm. Of course you haven't. Andrew, darling, I assume everyone is gathered. Of course, Administrator. They are eager to discuss the recent developments, not the least of which is filling the void left by General Walter. There will be the standard election, of course. But there is no rush to fill a seat, is there? He was such a dear friend, and there are no pressing matters of governance that would require a full voting body. Forgive my lack of compassion at what must have been a horrible loss for you. I know he was one of the first to endorse the positions as administrator, along with myself. Though we shouldn't wait too long to put forward candidates for the election, the rest of the council will not be so understanding if we find ourselves at a standstill because of a deadlocked vote. There may be someone on the council willing to abstain from important votes until the political climate would welcome new candidates. We will have to consider they, that they will be the future leader of the armed forces in Stubia, after all. 
I will be willing to abstain for the time being and take over the burden of his considerable and make sure to do it in the internal. That would be a weight lifted, Andrew. I will have the proper administrative powers transferred to you after the meeting is concluded. Though I see no reason to burden you with the command of the armed forces themselves. Nathaniel was a experienced and a transfer of leadership at this point would unsettle those who served under him. For the time being, I will retain silent command and deal directly with the generals myself. Whatever you think is best, Naveen. Though I assure you that I will take care of everything. I can't fathom that the other counselors would argue with having my vote temporarily removed from the matters of law. No. I don't imagine they will. Good morning. It is a pleasure to see you all again. We have a lot to cover today. Let us begin by talking about the bunny. Thank you.